Hello guys, welcome back to Car X Highway Racing. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to reintroduce this game uh, to the channel. We were having lots of fun with it. And um, in the advent of bringing up Real Racing 3, which is a tilt racer, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and bring in Highway Racing also, since we were having so much fun with it. Now, Highway Racing you guys could probably realize has gone through a lot of updates a lot of changes and um so we're going to go ahead and look at a few of these changes that have been done we still have our cars they have completely resetted our progress on the campaign as you guys saw in the last screen just here and the screen that's in front of you briefly just now all right um so we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna explore a few of the new things real quick they do have a new policeman feature i finally figured out how that works and i will bring you that in an upcoming video so we're just looking at the actual speed rating for a few of our cars here that's our original colt r we have the tokyo and we have the um the kyoto xm which actually is supposed to be or fastest car at this point but really isn't because of upgrades but we're going to be changing that we're going to focus on the kyoto xm these are a few other cars i haven't figured out how they work is yet the rider m4 and the atlas gt which they're saying are um special prizes that we just touched with that that was just our um um basically our driver level is saying we are back to level one so i guess with the update they've reset it us reset it everybody but they have done a lot of changes to the game and there are some more updates that they have been doing so the game is changing is going on containers we're going to look at right now to be fair to them they did introduce containers on a previous update before they reset the game but um as i said we we, we weren't really keeping up with it so but uh you know but i'm just gonna go ahead and show you show that to you guys now and uh basically what what we get through the containers are like um parts to help us upgrade or specific cars and whatnot um not quite sure how that works as far as if you um if it, if it, you know if, if anybody's familiar with nitro nation you know nitro nation you have to you have to sit in the car um like you see on the loading screen just now we had the colt r on the screen um if if you have whatever car is on your home screen usually is the car that they um that they'll give you crates for so i'm not sure if this game kind of works like that but i'm worried to be sure we are going to actually um you know check out um make sure we, we do it right so hope you guys are following along finners off finn offers a training race reaction time the car power car power are important on straight parts all right um all right so i think we're the first race is actually a drag race so probably that's what they are um talking about here um so i think we're yeah we're diving right into the campaign um, because there was a lot of stuff to look at but i figure we'll get i had a false start there um i figure we'll get to them in the process of doing the the playthrough and um it's probably going to be more like a walkthrough we're probably going to get really in depth with it and we're going to explore a lot of a lot of things but um it may actually just be a playthrough in the terms of i i'm probably not going to show you all the random races and side races mostly just the campaign stuff and maybe if i get a good recording here and there from a campaign race or a random race or something like that um then i'll probably throw that in but it's probably mostly we're probably mostly just going to focus on getting the campaign done going through the campaign and completing the game um to 100 if if there is such a thing all right um and i, I said there's a new um policeman feature which we, i will show you that in uh in a in a, a video to come maybe in the next the the second video next video is actually done already while i'm making this video so probably in the, the next video after that or or so forth and i tell you this it's, it's quite interesting the policeman feature um yeah but all right so we're gonna skip over this like i said they've really started us again from the top i'm sorry i'm not following along with the video they started us from the top they're reintroducing us to the mechanic and stuff like that so i'm gonna skip that part also and um just get back into the video okay so he's asking us well well let's see what has changed here's at the track here's a stopwatch don't be late and so we're getting tested by sanders apparently we are working for some um 
we have some client that she has clients herself so you know so we, 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 we're, we're, we're doing a side job on a side job or some kind of undercover work apparently um, trying to catch catch up to stolen cars so I'm not sure if we're we're the police directly the fact that we have policeman cars right now are or if we're just um, some kind of private eye you know something okay so Sanders is the leader of a popular Texas racing club show your cars capabilities and finish the race for the special prizes uh, that's what i said all right so um so we're gonna go out here and uh i think we're doing a time challenge here so i'm gonna get on the highway i might just sit back quiet a little bit and let you guys enjoy the aesthetics and the sounds it's like an easy short race okay i'm sorry i do want to mention that the um that the it, it, it's it's just so beautiful to look at the um the driving dynamics has is is a little bit i'm, I'm not sure what i did um, not as far as the controls that's something i'm gonna have to really work on controlling the car a little bit like now on a track when there is no traffic you have no problem but the car is not very responsive and i'm you know saying this in in regards to other type of tilt racer games that are out there i'm finding the car not you know you're coming up onto traffic and you'd like to you'd like to jerk the car if if you know i'm finding it i'm trying to i'm finding it hard to find a correct balance on the tilt it's either like the car okay so yes it's much better come to my club and take a ride with my guys um i'm finding it that it's much if you if you if you loosen the car up where it tilts very easily i right, said so we're working for stephanie here goes what concerns or business a batch of luxury cars was hijacked from my clients and all threads lead to texas so this is what i'm saying that she's working for somebody else and apparently we're working for stephanie and so i'm not sure if we're police undercover police or if we're uh, just some kind of detective or just some guy that she wants to go um you know undercover for her to try to get some information kind of like in um csr racing i think that's how what's happening in the storyline in csr racing all right so here is ray hi i'm from the sanders club how about taking part in a race for money all right so i think we're going to go ahead and do a race with um a few of the guys from the sanders club stephanie told you that your goal in texas is searching for stolen cars sanders is a man is the main suspect outright sanders friends to prove to improve your reputation and learn more about the stolen cars and um you see everything every race that we do takes one pip of gas which is um uh, you know something to be desired but um you know it is what it is at this point um i think all the best games have done away with with actually charging you a pip of gas for racing and uh, i think csr that's very commended i'm sorry i keep talking about um other games at this point but we are restarting the game so i think it's fair enough to compare it with other games that are out there and um and there there, there are a few a few more things so we're in the lead already there's a few more things for us to be comparing it to you can see here like okay there's a car coming up you know and you're trying to dodge the cars and stuff like that and it, it it's it, it, it's a little bit stiff when it comes to um trying to dodge these cars um hmm, the control so i seem to be doing pretty well with it there and so maybe i need to make sure i double check what the what my controls were in this video setup because right now I, I was i've been playing with them and tweaking them a little bit and now it's completely haywire so um probably you'll see that in a few videos to come you know me having problems trying to set the car up all right uh, ray you're showing pretty good results for a beginner finn check out he's really tough check check out if he's really tough <laughs> all right all right i don't know if it's just me or the, the writing all right so we're going to start a few races with ray and i think um we're going to either do the first one or the first two and we're going to go ahead and, and wrap the video up here and um and then we you know we'll we'll come back in the second video and we'll we'll do a, do a few more things in the uh in the campaign all right because the video getting a little bit lengthy so far um 
Um, so this is your first duel with Finn. You must win three times to become Sanders Club um, member, something like that. Um, <clears throat> All right, so here we go, and, and, and it is a drag race, but we learned already, don't fall start. We have to wait for the green light to hit the goal. Um, but, but I'm liking it, guys, as I said, um, you know, not to keep comparing it, but we are going to start um, a new series with uh, Real Racing 3. The problem, Real Racing 3 is a game I used to play a while back. It's been out for a while, and I'm going to reintroduce it because um, I just, you know, I'm... I'm Video games are really changing, and um, I like the uh, the dynamic of it. But here we go. Here's um, this is basically where it wraps up. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys stick around for this series, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Drop them, drop them, drop them.